Chapter 5 Season 2 has been out for almost a month now and I have found the best controller settings for you to dominate ranked lobbies and so much more. These controller settings will help you hit shots that you otherwise would have missed and it also gives you insane mechanics on controller that will make you look like a pro. But first, let me show you what I can do with these controller settings. I'm going to be playing on the Xbox controller for now just because my PlayStation controller has been bugging out recently with my PC. Hopefully we get that fixed, but yeah, we're going to be sticking to the Xbox controller. Okay, so this guy's about... That guy's also a bot. I mean, it's full of bots. It's a pub lobby. Okay, these guys are real. Oh my. Oh my. Full piece. I'm going full PG on this guy. 30. But what is this guy doing? Full box! Oh my goodness, bro. What are you doing? Lasered? Okay. Oh, no bullets? Cracked. Cone. Oh. Okay, that's another bot. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so you guys did see the last clip, but yeah, this was a pretty decent win. I know it's a pub game, but whatever, you know, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Alright, so going straight into the settings, we're going to quickly run through this to not waste too much time. I'll mainly focus on the ones you should mainly care about, and that starts with the game settings. You want to head on over to the building tab. Over here, we're going to make sure everything is turned on, as well as auto confirm edits set to both. These are the best editing and building settings if you are on controller, especially if you are on console, where there is a lot of input delay. You definitely want to be playing on confirm edit on release if you don't have triggers that bottom out as fast. It just makes editing so much easier and it's totally worth trying out. Then you want to head on over to the very bottom and make sure that all of your replays are disabled. Replays are annoying since it takes up unnecessary space on your storage and it just gives you a ton of input delay on low-end PCs. This is very important since you can go from having 60 FPS to 120 FPS off of this setting. Heading straight to the controller settings, we're going to make sure that we have advanced options enabled. This gives us full control over our sensitivities as well as full customization options on all of our sensitivity values. We're going to start off with 1.9 on our build mode sensitivity multiplier and as well as our edit mode sensitivity multiplier. After that, we're going to pair that up with look horizontal speed and look vertical speed on 39%. This is the most ideal combination and it works really well together. It's actually smooth and it prevents you from being stiff with your mechanics. Highly recommend this combination to everyone who wants to easily have control over their builds and edits, especially if you are on console. Obviously, we want to disable all of the boosts since we're going to be playing on Linear. Linear is by far the most optimal for controller players, it just gives you smoother mechanics and it even improves your shotgun aim. Moving back to our ADS sensitivity, we're going to make sure that these are on 10%. 10% is by far the sweet spot for both horizontal and vertical speeds. Especially if you are on linear, having this any lower will ruin your control and having this any higher will make you look like a bot. As for the dead zones, I have them both on 10%, however this depends on the health of your controller. So if you feel that you have a relatively healthy controller, then feel free to follow these 10% values. However, if you are experiencing stick drift, then feel free to dance around these values. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You obviously, you want to disable enable foot controller. This just adds extra input delay on your controller. You want Fortnite to be focusing only on your controller and not on any other foot controllers. Make sure you have controller auto run on. Edit hold time, you want to set this to the lowest possible. Slide hold time, you want to set this to 0.150 seconds. Obviously, you want vibration off. Quick weapon, you want this to set on custom only since quick weapon is pretty bad right now. I know they're trying to do something with it, but every controller player is used to not having quick weapons, so just disable this or set this to custom only. Make sure your look sensitivity and your aim sensitivity before advanced options was on 4. But honestly, these doesn't affect you too much, I just believe 4 is the sweet spot for less input delay. 
So moving on to the controller binds, I actually moved my camera to make sure that you guys can see. Now unfortunately, I do play on claw, so if you are playing on non-claw or if you are playing with paddles, then these settings might not be beneficial to you. However, on the bright side, these controller settings will apply to both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, as well as the Xbox controllers. Most of this stuff are not important by the way, like the custom input, the gyro, and the LTM abilities. But if I were to give a recommendation, then maybe put edit building on left stick as this is one of the best editing binds for controller players, especially if you are on non-claw. So that is going to be it for the best game settings, the best controller settings, as well as the best controller binds for Fortnite. If you guys learned something new and if you like this type of video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers and I want to hit a pretty big milestone before May. Once again, otherwise that's it for me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.